Apparently we're live, apparently we're live. Not quite sure yet because I've left this screen on. Gonna be on in a minute. Um, yeah, how are we all? Let's get the mood set, get the lights dimmed down. All the sexy voices going on. Welcome in everyone and let's get my fucking face on the screen. Boom! Hello everyone and welcome to the show! Uh, yeah, fucking overexcited bollocks. How are we all today? Welcome to everyone in chat. Uh, welcome, welcome indeed. Um, yeah, the live stream, I've changed the latency this week because people were pissing and moaning about things. Oh, I keep seeing the spinny wheel of death. It's all right. The spinny wheel of death should hopefully not be here anymore. I put it into low latency rather than ultra low latency, so my responses to you may be slightly delayed. You're right, Jen. Tell your fucking taxi driver to hurry up or else. A blame bow. Blame bow. Hashtag. Sup Thunder Vape, hello Mo, hello everyone in chat, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is the usual Devil Vapor Live for Wednesday the 12th of February 2020. I nearly said 2019 then, I was like, oh shit. I hope we are all doing absolutely fine and wonderful and everything. Everyone in chat, let me know what the hell you are vaping on. I'm on the usual, it really doesn't need much of an introduction. But I'm on the Aegis, um, the Geek Vape Aegis, so whatever it is, that, the, the Aegis Legend, whatever it is, limited edition thing, whatever it is, I've bloody forgotten. And the Hell Vape Fat Rabbit sub -ohm Tank, obviously with the Zeus Juice Black Ice. If you want some of this shit, Devil 10 over on the Zeus Juice uh, website, bloody hell, get me words out. Hello, Stimulated Entity. That name sounds lovely. You're right, Cos. Nice to see you in here. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get my words out tonight. I've been at like 110 mile an hour all day, except for when I'm driving my car, where I was at, you know, between 50 and 70 mile an hour, depending on where I was. John Ross, it is the Pingu Vapor. I've got my Slip Noot Noot t-shirt on. Yay! If anyone likes this, um, smash that like button. It's, uh, it's Pingu. And Slipknot. Slip noot noot. You right, LJ. Anton. Hello, everyone in South Africa. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are doing well. Fat Rabbit keeps leaking under the bottom when on mod. Uh, make... I've never had that. Make sure your calls in nicely and all the O-rings are in place. Um, Mr. or Mrs. Thunder Vape. Evening Al, evening Apex, Chris, Gran, everyone, just welcome, fucking welcome everyone, welcome, 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 it is so nice and humbling to see everyone in here, Mr. Thunder Vape, Geek Vape Aegis with uh, Berserker, Lost Vape Q with a black reloaded ice uh, and lemon refresher, nice one, Nero, for fuck's sake, I told you earlier to come in mate, I told you earlier, Three minutes late, you know, I'm taking it out of your allowance. Uh, welcome in, Nero. Nice to see you in here. Hope you are keeping well. You right, Reese? Liz, Beth, Irish. Nice to see you, Irish. Gaz, Man... Is that Manoj or is it Manu? Is it pronounced as Manu? Or Man Manoy? <sighs> welcome in. Welcome in. So what have we got planned for this show this week? Absolute fuck all. Absolute fuck all, um, as per usual. Um, we'll get into the five minutes of fame or five minutes of shame. You're right, Dyer. Five minutes of fame slash five minutes of shame um, in a moment. But at half past, we will have the poem from Cunt and the gang, as we normally do, um, selected by yourselves. Charmaine McKay, you're right. Ma Man OJ. Mano J Hard J. Horizon Vape Distro is that um Oh what's your name? F -f 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 -f. I'll remember it soon. Fabs? Jabs, Jabs, is it Jabs? 
You're right, ARD, Trevor Lyon, Jason Lee, all the lovely people coming in. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, we've got bugger all to talk about today. Um, so if you've got any suggestions on what you want to talk about this week, whack them in and we will talk about them. I'm on uh, top chat. Remember to go on live chat um, because I forgot. Yeah, Miller Man, Chris, naked man. I had my hair cut last week. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, looking fresh. Um, I might put a hat on. I'm not quite sure. You like Clyde, Andy, Tomac. Nice one. Hello. Lee Matango, welcome in. Uh, things are pretty damn good, actually, mate. Um, how about you? ARD, you are more handsome than I. Uh, don't forget to click that fucking like button. Grumpy Snedden, Yorkshire lad, Matt S. Yes, it's Jabs. You right, Jabs? How you doing, mate? Richie, John Ross. Matt S. How you doing, Mr. Sweetman? Hope you are well. I look like a convict. Fuck you, then. I'm putting my hat on. There we go. There we go. Um, anyone new in, let me know what you're vaping on. We can discuss things. But yeah, let me know what you, if there's anything you want to discuss. Any topic whatsoever, whether it be vaping related, food related, um, all that jazz. Let me know what you had for dinner. There's 80 people in here and only 42 likes. Smash that fucking like button or else. Uh, not sure what or else will be. Uh, Ages Squonk with a Tengu RDA. Moorish Puffs Cappuccino Tobacco. Lovely. Nice one, Webley. Um, yeah, sorry about that, Chris. You're right, my bro. Where do you get that T-shirt, uh, Dean? That is quality. I got it from a place called Qwerty. Uh, Q W E R T double -E, -E. Um, they do a lot of like geeky and nerdy shirts, loads of different designs. Um, I'll whack the link in here. Um, there we go. One second. Qwerty.com. Curry and chips, nice one. You are right, Kenny 2020? No, you're good. We're only seven minutes in. Um, if you want some fancy t-shirts, go over to QWERTY because, you know, they have some absolutely great designs on there. They're not sponsoring the channel or anything like that. It's just where I buy my t-shirts from. Snedden's got the hard-on tomato and mozzarella pasta bake. I had um, lasagna this evening. Lasagna and a bit of lettuce. You are right, Cool UK, JP? Dion78, hey Dino, hope you're well pal, not on the bog this time, just finished, time it better next time please, uh, please time it better next week, um, I also got, you know these posters here, so this is my Iron Giant one and that is the Stormtrooper one, I got them from QWERTY as well, 100 knock from John, thank you very much John, um, how's it hanging, let's discuss you moving your channel over to Pornhub, nice to have every good thing in one place this is a thing that only me and john know about at the moment we've been discussing it behind the scenes um but basically with all this youtube uh, drama going on you know people going not coming back people getting strikes and shit like that and oh my god you know absolutely crazy I i've been speaking to john for around about a week or so and he said Move it over to Pornhub, mate, you know. Um, you can put your vape content on there. You can put your porn content on there as well. And I thought, you know, how good is that to do? Um, so I can put my vaping content and my porn content on there, as well as combining the two, so you can have me, you know, strutting my wares whilst I'm strutting my wares. So, you know, see me over at that uh, website called Pornhub um, forward slash the devil vapor. And you will see me in my full blooming glory. Uh, yeah. Yo, Lady P. I'm not really going on Pornhub, but... <laughs> but I, I thought I'd put it out there. Finally kick smoking all together. Still, still going to watch you for the shits and giggles. Nice one, mate. Lady P, how you doing, gorgeous? Is there a Devil Vapor sex tape we should know about? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Um, it will be released to all very, very soon. You're right, her scene. Page not. <laughs> Sorry, Gary. Pornhub gives a whole new. Yeah, drip tip. 
Chili Baby Beauty just exploded with excitement only to be let down. It's not the first time. Emily, nice to see you in here, Emily. Uh, Nick McMinn, have you ever thought at uh, thought of releasing a product? Um, I release a product, um, you know, every other day. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, I have, yes, I have. In in all seriousness, a vape product, yes, I have. Um, I'd like to start with an RDA. I've got, you know, my designs on the back of a tissue and stuff like. Now I've got ideas in my head. You right, Bill Richards? Yes, news of the world hacked my phone. Onion. Um, I have. I think the first place I would start at is an RDA. But, you know, the companies that have been approaching me, it's like, we want a mesh RTA. And it's like, I you know, honestly, I, I couldn't give a flying fuck about RTAs. I'm Not that I'm not experienced in RTAs, but I'm a stock coil tank wanker. And it's um, people like Jabs, Jabs at Horizon Vape Distro um, that I would love to work with in releasing a tank. Um, I'd also like to work with Hell Vape. Um, but yeah, they're, they're all mesh RTA. Can you design a mesh RTA? Um, fuck, you know, I don't know where to start with an RTA. I think an RTA is a difficult place to start at. So an RDA or a stock coil tank would be the best place to start. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll definitely see how it goes. Look at the chat. The CBW RDA. Yeah, um, that might work. That might work. You've got products. Yeah, I've got products. If people want... I've kind of slimmed down my, um, my merch store. Sorry about that. Um, I lost where I was. Um, it's somewhere in here. Somewhere in here. I used to be able to promote my uh, my shit on here. Oh yeah, because I removed it from. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, go to my um, what's it called? My bloody thing. Po yeah, post shaped like a fist. So instead of having screws, you could have fists that come down like this. Don't do RDA, so you have to do a tank. Yes, I will. Cows, irons, cows. I received your shit, by the way. Uh, welcome in, cows. Um, I got messaged by a wonderful gentleman by the name of Cows Irons um, the other week. There's only a, a select few that have seen this so far. And <laughs> it's a fantastic product. Uh, a fantastic product, which you will be seeing in my reviews. I've got a butt plug. Has anyone ever seen a butt plug like this? That has this on the end. Look at that. It's an adapterated butt plug. Um, so whilst I'm rebuilding, I can rebuild relationships and rekindle relationships <laughs> with with my uh, with my anus. So this is orange and blue. Um, yeah, it's really really nice, really really nice. Um, and yeah, I'll be using that in my build tutorials. So thank you a mass. I haven't thanked you personally yet, or told you I've received it yet, but. Um, yeah, thank you very much to um, to the lovely cows for sending this over. Thank you very much. John John. Hi, quick vape question. I only MTL. Is there any point moving from simple single coils to Clapton's? Is there much difference? Is there that much difference to the taste? Vaping Viking 87. Yo, yo, yo. Um, right, so many watts. Right, uh, back to John John's question. Um, hello to everyone who's coming in. Um, yes, uh, if you're going to move, you, you'll notice the flavour difference. I either use Aliens or Clapton's in MTL. Um, but you can, I think Chris Grimes does some uh, decent MTL Clapton's. Um, check him out over on Twitter. Um, or, or speak to TVP if you are friends with TVP or on his group. Have a look. You right, Ronnie? Stuart Ayrton. Um, yeah, try switching to a Clapton. A Clap I, I use Claptons in most of my MTL builds or a, a Space Stainless build. And, you know, I find the flavour really, really good. Um, I don't know where the hell any of my bloody MTL builds are. Oh, here's one. I haven't got a battery in it, though. I'm, I'm really not prepared for tonight, by the way. I'm really, really not prepared. Put the Capstone thing on there. Or was that the other one that looked like a dildo? Capstone. I think that was, that was like a, a penile uh, looking thing. What would look good on there is, <laughs> I've just thought of one. 
the uh oh what was this this thing the the kenji or whatever it was called the watofo elder dragon it's not quite the right shape but you know it's ribbed for his and her pleasure i haven't got any uh penile shaped um rdas in at the moment you're right pav g what's the best 18650 um now if you watched my best of 2019 um mr yorkshire lad you would know um the bet that what i think is the best 18650 for from personal use are the ohm, ohm stretch or the um what they called ohm tech batteries now i use ohm stretch ohm work and ohm life which is currently in my mod at the moment um they look a little bit like this so these are the own work batteries. I have done like a review on these, on my experiences with them. And this week, where I haven't been in um, my studio this week, um, I've been using batteries and not recharging them. So I've gone to the bottom of the box where batteries I haven't used in a long, long time. And yeah, we've all been asleep since then. That's the, normally my excuse. Um, yeah, where I'm digging to the bottom of the tray now and um, getting to batteries that I haven't used in a while, I've realised how good these are compared to like your Samsung 25Rs and stuff like that and um, 30Qs. These seem to be giving out a really good output. Um, I was using some triple X batteries, the white ones, which are the Samsung 30Qs. And, um, oh, jelly, they're decent batteries. Um, where I was using them today, it got to like half battery life and I was noticing like a big battery battery sag, like I was getting to the end of the battery life and I was looking at the mod and I'm like, these are half to three quarters bloody um, full. So why am I getting like a voltage drop kind of thing going on? And I switched them out, put these in and absolutely blooming perfect. So the, the battery that I would personally recommend that I love using are not the X-Tar, but the, the Ohm Life, the Ohm Stretch, Ohm Work and... Uh, ohm stretch, ohm work, and ohm life. Um, Molly cell batteries are very, very good. Um, I you, I've got them in my singles. Xtar, you know, Xtar sent me this battery here. Had no problems with it whatsoever. Two thousand five hundred, uh, two thousand six hundred milliamp hour, thirty five amp. I'm not quite sure on the ratings, but you'd have to go to Mooch. Uh, do you know if you'll be getting a damn vape intense mesh MTL RDA in? I'm not sure. Um, to be honest with you, right, the, for the past two weeks, my inbox has been 90% dead. With what's going on in China, absolutely, it's been like a bloody, like a, a, like a tumbleweed, like a bloody tumbleweed. And... Um, I got my first par parcel notification in two weeks today. Um, so I'm not quite sure what is being sent. P26As are absolutely, sp uh, absolutely spot on, Chris. You're right, Nate. But yeah, um, I'm not quite sure. So if Dan Vape want to get in contact, then, you know, I'll happily review it. Um, but MTL, let's get back into MTL. I think this is leaking. No, it ain't. And when it does pick up, shit loads of pods. Seriously, um, I've got review, <laughs> my review queue um, a couple of weeks ago. You all right, Crystal? Um, my review queue was 99% pods. But the thing is, I've got to review them to get them out of the way. And it's unfortunate that, you know, I might get a week of bloody pod review. So I'm, I've been bumping things up, unfortunately, um, to push a few pods back. So there's a bit of a mixture. The coronavirus ain't all that bad. It really ain't all that bad. But um, yeah, I've had mess. I woke up. I think it was Sunday or Monday to a couple of emails from companies going, please don't like stuff they've sent through. Oh, nice one, JP. Nice one. Let uh, let me know what you sent. Uh, let me know well, not what you sent, what you bought. Um, and also look at the the artwork as well if you want some artwork. Sorry, John Ross. Never use a pod, but still, yeah. Evening Sprocket. You right, Nina? Vaporesso or Vaporesso Swag 2? Lovely. Got a load of various mods and sub takes for sale. Nice one, Derek.
Yeah. Um, but yeah, I have a few emails from a company, uh, from companies like um, Orgvape. They've told me not to review this because their manufacturing plant is still closed and um, won't be able to keep up with demand of reviewers reviewing the product and people wanting it. Um, so it, it's a bit of a shame, but it, it's given me a little bit of a break. Like I've had the beginning of this week off, um, so I can just do some, some stuff by myself. You've got to understand I, I've got to have time to myself at times. Um, we're all human beings and all that jazz. And um, it's been nice this week. I've been able to, you know, do some DIY and, and stuff like that. And Sunday, I clear, uh, Saturday, I cleared out the shed. Sunday, I had a lazy day. Um, but I've heard China might not be back to normal or they might not be going back to work until the beginning of March. So we'll see. But yeah, I've needed a break. So apologies for the lack of content um, at the beginning of this week. But I'll hopefully get a review out tomorrow. Now, Source More are doing the swag to at 18 quid. Nice one. Yeah. Yeah, true, true, Cron. If, if I, uh, you know, I used to enjoy coming home and, and getting a few bits recorded and stuff like that and then chill for a week and... Um, but yeah, I need a break. Um, I needed a break after, you know, recording lots of things and work's been really, really busy lately. Um, I've needed a bit of a break, so I've just not posted or recorded anything. Finally, time to yourself as soon as the butt plug turns up. You have questions. I will send you uh, a few pictures of me using it. Nice one, Michael Smith. If if you do want a t-shirt, they're not um, associated with me or anything like that. Head on over to QWERTY.com. And you're right, evening legend. Um, head on over to QWERTY and you know see if there's any designs you like on there. Um, they normally have like a, a sale on and stuff like that. And they just do some really cool t-shirts on there. That's why I buy them. Um, JJ, Devil, um, I beg you, give me Mrs. Danny a shout out. She gave birth last night and was a trooper. JJ, uh, JJ, I only give her a shout out um, if she sends me pictures. <laughs> no. Um, you're right. Mrs. Danny, congratulations on the recent birth of your child. I hope you didn't do a little poo-poo when you were squeezing it out. Um, but a big amount of love. I hope that the baby is nice and healthy. And, you know, you and the family are doing well. So massive congratulations to you too. Lots of love coming from here, Mr. Devil. But, you know, just make sure you don't poo. Can you get in on those photos? Grim is on a break all month. Yeah, blimey. What cotton have you been working with? I wick with nothing other. Birthing pictures for shout outs, yeah. This is what I use. I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I use Swag Cotton. This is the uh, original Swag project. Um, ah, no problem, JJ. I hope everything is well. You're right, Stuart. Um, but yeah, this is the cotton I use. Some people get on with it, some people don't get on with it. I absolutely love it. Not sponsored by them or anything like that, but I've found that it is very, very good cotton for me personally. Um, I use it in RDAs, RTAs, RDTAs, anything rebuildable. I even use it to uh, mop up any, you know, jism that I get on the old floor. But you know, the amount of wicking I do do, and I think I ordered two of these last year, and I'm only f halfway through my first one. Oh, probably two, three quarters through the first one. Yeah, re really nice cotton, really, really nice cotton. Um, I'm not sure how long it is. I think it's like 10 meters or something like that. Uh, no, it's, oh, one meter, sorry, one meter. One meter of coton. Oh, the baby no, is uh, sorry, just disrupts your wife's shite. <laughs> My Aspire Dynamo packed up. Any recommendations for a 21700 mod? There's the um what's it called? The 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 evil dildo, the FDLO by um those people. What are they called? What are they fucking called? Asmodus uh, is it Asmo? It's not Asmodus. Evening DD how much is what? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're talking about. Oh, I don't know. Don't know. I'm lost. I'm lost. You well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, you right, TBD? 
yeah, get the evil dildo. Um, the Odin. The Odin uh, looks really, really good as well. Or if you're looking for a... Oh, clicked on something. If you're looking for something simple that can convert into and out of a squonker, the top side light. My review is up. I don't use Muji, Nero. You're right, PAVG! Anyone got the uh, Vapefly Creme Hill? No, I have two spare batteries now. Nice one. Nice one, Andy. Odin 2. Oh, yeah, you've got two versions of the Odin. You've got the DNA 250C version and the cheaper 200 version. Uh, two very good, from what I've seen, devices. No problem, Andy. No problem. Um, I haven't got any discount codes or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not, not cool enough for that. MBK, I hope you're doing well, mate. Or get another Dynamo for 20 quid at Evolution. Nice one. Uh, how is that swag cotton? I use cotton bacon prime, but I found, find that a waste load and can't judge how much I need to use. Inconsistent. Um, I, you know, I just tear off a, a decent amount, probably about that much. And then I pull it all the way through, give it a nice, um, where'd you get the nice drip tip? What, this one? Not sure. I think this come off of a tank. If anyone's new in here, let me know what you're vaping on, what you had for dinner, last time you fingered your bum, you know, stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure where I got that drip tip, but if you want a decent drip tip, get one this sized. You right, Jackie McCutcheon McGuire? Welcome in, runs the camera. Don't tell Pud, uh, it's banging. Um, yeah, the, with, with the swag, I just tear off. It might have been the Falcon. Um, I'm not sure. It, I think I smashed my um, smashed my one. I haven't got a Jackaroo. <sighs> Latest cron. So in three minutes, we are doing the poem. Went to Greg's, got me some sublime. Right squad in the Kelpie 2. Nice one. Aspire GT. Uh, Nick, Nick McMinn. It, it's not as loud as the Kelpie RDA. Oh, drama. No, not drama. The the Kelpie RDA is a, lo a loud RDA. Nice one. Cheers, Kenny. Nice one, Stuart, for the old finger bum. So, we are going to do Cunt and the Gang... Um, poem in a minute or two so i'm going to put it to you the people in chat to choose a poem now obviously there are ones you're right chris murdoch new here chris09 don't forget to click that subscribe button um vaping on the smock nord mtl call 20 milligram nick salts and geek vape nove is it the nova with the valuna rta Go get ready for the show. Uh, South, I'll probably see you in there. I will probably see you in there, mate, because uh, I'm going to come in as a guest, I do think. Um, so choose a poem. Everyone, choose a poem. Go on there. Something that tickles your pickle. Obviously, there are ones that I can't read out, uh, mainly with, um, you know, paedophilia and stuff like that in there. And I'm not too fond of ones that take piss out of people with cancer. Um, not my kind of comedy, in all honesty. Um, but yeah, in half hour after this, uh, Little Bro Vapes has um, got a birthday show on and he's going to have loads of guests in there. Hopefully I'll be one of them. I've just said I'll be a guest and uh, see how it goes. Suck me off before I'm famous. I, I tell everyone that. I do like that one though. Evening Ian Morgan. Vape and Irish. Yeah, you got to thumb it in. Suck me off before I'm famous. Where is it? Uh, I can't find it. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I'm just looking for this bloody suck me off before I'm famous. That's my erection. Shitting on a picture of the Queen. Evening, Stephen Harrison. I'm trying to find um, Suck Me Off Before I'm Famous. Middle finger, CBW. 
Evening, John Connolly. Any relation to Brian? Bape and I, she's still got my Aegis X and Cube X I gave him six months ago to review. Oh, I really can't find the poem. Oh, hurry up and suck me off before I'm famous. There we go. Right, we are at half past, so we might as well go straight into the poem. You're right, Paul Ben. There we go. It is poem time, half past the hour of Sieben. Sieben is seven in German. Bit of a thingy. So this is Suck Me Off Before I'm Famous. Uh, Cunt and the gang, go give them a lot of love. Nice Mark Hartfield, sorry. Um, if you are into a little bit of poetry, we are going to be reading Hurry Up and Suck Me Off Before I'm Famous by Cunt and the Gang. And it's cunt with a K, so it's not a swear word. So let's go. This song's to all the munters and the mingers and the malts. Until this point, I was prepared to overlook your faults. If you had a bit of BO or an unattractive trait, a little bit of facial hair or a bit of extra weight. It was never an issue until I nearly charted. And I realised the news will probably leave you broken hearted. But when I go to... Oh, fucking hell. But when I go top 40 and start racing up the charts... I'll be better. I'll be getting better offers off some better looking tarts. There's only so much of me to go around, but there's a window of opportunity from now until then. So make the most of it. Uh, fuck me. So make the most of it, as after that you won't see my knob again. Because if I've raised my standards, surely you can't blame us. Hurry up and suck me off before I get famous. If I raise my standards, surely you can't blame us. Hurry up and suck me off before I get famous. If I had... Oh, fuck. I can't read today. Sorry, people. If I had a top 40 hit, I would raise the bar. I'd scrap my Ford Fiesta and I'd buy a Jaguar. I'd stop buying Tesco Value and I'd just buy Tesco Finest. And girls would get moist, even ones who suffer from vaginal dryness. When I go to top 40 and get played by Bruno Brooks, I'll be fornicating faces of some bints with better looks. Because if I'm going to get sucked off, then maybe I'll uh, maybe fall in love. It will be a proper model, not one who's advertising Dove. I'll be up to my nuts and guts with lo lots of lovely sluts who've had their bangers out in zoo and FHM and nuts. Because if I raise my standards, surely you can't blame us. Hurry up and suck me off before I get famous. I'll be too busy with my stiffy up Jordan's anus. So hurry up and suck me off before I get famous. And that was me shittingly, re <laughs> shittingly reading. Hurry up and suck me off before I get famous. Um, me old reading eyes aren't too good this evening, people. Sorry about that. You right, Rob Ryan? Rob fucking Ryan. Nice one, mate. Shittingly. You alright, Smooth? <laughs> you alright, Posh Dilly Gaff? Mixed vapes. Welcome to everyone who might have joined, <laughs> joined during the middle of that poem. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice one, Smooth. Uh, send pics or GTFO. Civu play, Civu play. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we'll get into the extra part of the show. Um, we're not going to be. Uh, I'm a fucking jo Jordan. Uh, would you know which <laughs> mouth or anus? Yeah, both stinks of shite. Literally typing this from inside my own ass. <laughs> nice one. Evening, Helen Knight. Welcome in. With I presume that's a Foo Fighters uh, logo. You're right, DCFC Liam. Um, yeah, last week I announced that we are going to do a kind of five minutes of fame. I think I might call it five minutes of shame. Um, Mark Hartfield, this snapback is from the lovely people at Speech Development Records. Um, it says, we may not be for you and that's fine. Then inside there you've got the Speech Development Records uh, logos and stuff like that. Smooth set the phone to vibrate. Question, what's the widest tank the double barrel can take? I'm not quite sure, Shane Gibson. I haven't got one. 
Um, yeah. So the the new part of the show, which would be called possibly five minutes of shame, five minutes of fame. Um, I haven't gotten around to arranging it. I'll be completely honest with you. I haven't gotten around to arranging it. So it will be something that will be coming in the future. Um, so just bear with me because I've got to figure out how I'm going to do it and stuff like that. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be a nice bit of fun. And maybe we have like, you know, three or four people on. There's nothing wrong with uh, leading a boring and sheltered life um, smooth. But, um, yeah, five minutes of fame, five minutes of shame will be coming um, in the in the not-too-distant future. So apologies that we're not going to do it this week. But regardless, um, you, you can just keep on watching me and stuff like that and just enjoy yourself. So I'm going to open this up for... Um, you know for everyone out there if you've got any questions anything at all um just fire them over uh the posh dilligaf what's the um what's your views um on the vupu vinci um watch my fucking review mate Just watching a review. Um, the Vupu Vinci, I can't remember what I thought of it. I haven't used it in a while, but I had the the Vinci and the Vinci R. Um, two two decent two decent little mods. Jenny set him up with a slightly friend. Actually sent me up with a slightly friend. Actually set me up with him. Don't care. It's been a while. I have a question. Where do babies come from? Right, Jenny Sins wants to know where babies come from. Now, I've got to be careful what pronouns I use because uh, it might offend some motherfucker. Um, but when two people love each other very much, um, regardless of what they identify as, um, you know, when they love each other very much, they, they have a cuddle, right? They have a cuddle. And you know your belly button. They're, you know, you stick your finger in the belly button. We're going to use this as a belly button. You stick your finger in the belly button. And sometimes if you push it in too hard and pull it out, it comes out with some uh, stinky shit. But you've, you've got to, you know finger in the je in the jelly button in the belly button and you wiggle it around for a little bit and then you know two weeks later a baby pops out it's what i've been told ne nemesis you've walked into nothing we're, we're just discussing where babies come from um you know two people two people that love each other very much whatever pronouns they wish to use um they decide Mr. Doyle, thinking about starting reviewing, is there any point considering the state of YouTube or is written reviews a better option? There are little to no reviewers here in Ireland. Now, Smooth, how dare you? Um, I, one thing, um, being an Irish reviewer, it is, it's fucking difficult. <laughs> it's fucking difficult to understand you. So you're going to need some subtitles. So if you're typing out all the subtitles, you might as well do written reviews. Um, no, no, it's me joking. Uh, me joking? Fucking hell, joking. You're right, Kenny. Um, if you want to start, start. But it is a very, very difficult game to get um, into. If you want to do it seriously and, you know, not... Not bigging myself up, but if you want to do it on my level or TVP's level or, you know, if you want to get big and, and review lots of products and have reviews out every blooming day, um, you're going to have to realise that you're going to be sacrificing a lot of your personal time. A lot of your personal time, a lot of your personal money. You can wave goodbye to your money. You can wave goodbye to relationships. Um, it is a very difficult game to get into. I, I'll be absolutely honest with you. Very, very, very difficult game. Um, if you want to do it, fine. But then you've got to find a, a niche in the market that no one else has done. Um, you know, you can't be... You, not that you can't be you, but you've got to be you. But you can't be acting like someone else. You know, I, I, you can't come out and be like, oh, I want to be the next um, Rip Trippers. Or um, I want to be... I don't know, the next vaping biker or, or something like that. You can't use someone else's persona and how they act to portray yourself. You've got to find your own niche. Um, with me, <laughs> I'm just myself, my own boring self. I, like, 
endlessly, endlessly, endlessly. And, you know, people like me and people don't like me, it's it's not really my problem. I do this because I enjoy it. It's not my job. It's a hobby. My life doesn't revolve around vaping and stuff like that. And people have got to understand that, you know. When I come home, I might want to record a review. I might not want to record a review. My life doesn't depend on it. And that's the, 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 the balance I really like at the moment because I can just come in, I can sit in here for six hours and, and record, you know, a few reviews or I can just not bother coming in here. Um, but um, I, when I do it, I, I do it because I want to do it rather than because, oh, I've got to get another review out because people are going to be pissing and moaning and asking where I am. I do it because I love it. Um, did you see any of the intimate gig that Slipknot paid for the BBC? Uh, uh, it was at Maida Vale, wasn't it? It looked absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. You right, JG Peter? Um, nice to nice to chat to you the other day. Um, I don't normally do shout outs, but if people want to check out J Jupiter in the chat, it might be up here. Uh, go check him out. He's from Essex. <sighs> Um, Millerman Chris, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Uh, Dean is a good, no nonsense, sensible place to look at what vape gear to get juice to. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, what I find is, um, a lot of people, uh, not a lot of people, but people don't like reviewing juice. Um, it is entirely subjective, but I, you know, I really enjoy reviewing juice because it's just you and a camera and giving your own opinions. There's no massive tech specs. You've got the PGVG, uh, the nicotine possibly, and um, the the size of the bottle and the price and stuff like that. You you've got no like going through menus and shit like that. You're right, Bob. Um, the subtitle. Yeah, I used to do the caption by Wibbletube on my vlog. Um, but uh, where was I? Where was I? Yeah, Drew, yeah, I enjoy doing juice reviews because it's just, you know, a very relaxed thing to do. You know, I love my my monthly um, vape mail subscription. I've got that coming up very soon. That will be probably coming out the end of the week if I can be bothered to, re to record it. Um, but, yeah, I really enjoy it. And I think, you know, a thing I've said to myself over the past couple of months is for every vape product out there, there is at least one person that wants to know about it and whether it's one person that's watching the review or a thousand people watching the review or 10,000 um, watching the review it's someone helped um, and that's what people got to realize we we as reviewers are here to review products for you people to get more information on whether we think it's good whether we think it's bad whether it's got any flaws whether it's the best thing since sliced bread we are here to give you that information regardless of whether it's a fucking drip tip or you know a 300 quid mod we're here to do that and um no problem uh, jay thanks for popping in dude um i just think us as reviews we shouldn't shy away from products yes i i do have my reservations uh regarding pods and stuff like that um is there a website that does monthly Nick Salt's mail? Yes, Posh Dilligaff. If you go to vape mail, vape-mail.co.uk, um, they do a monthly Nick Salt subscription. Um, but yeah, for, for every product out there, there is someone who wants to know about it. And, and us as reviewers need to remember that. And regardless of what it is, people want to know about it. Um, so yeah. Just, just review what you want to review. I know, you know when I done the reviews for the Chubby Juice, these things uh, last week, um, after I posted those reviews, the amount of emails I got, will you review our juice line? Will you review our juice line? Will you review our juice line? And the, uh, I will be honest with you, the amount of shit that come in, like really bad. I do have reservations on e-liquid reviews. Um, the labeling has got to be on point, the branding and stuff like that. If it comes through and it's like Dickie's knob salts or stuff like that, it's like, fuck off. You know, I'm not here to review shite that you think's comedic. Um, yeah. Evening, Reverend. Nice to see you in, Squire. Smooth, smooth, Tim. I'm going to be looking for a new dripper for my top side soon because I've only got a pulse. I love the pulse, but it's pra practically an antique. Um, if you want to look for a new RDA, the 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 keys um, Alexander RDA is good. Um, 
and the what's it called? The recurve, the recurve jewel is very good. The profile V1.5 is good as well, but that is mesh. I really do enjoy pods and Nixalt vapes. Uh, vape about 20 mil a week. Coils last ages. Killing it with Nixalt flavors. Yeah. Um, the people at Zeus Juice. I don't know if these are 10 milligrams. Yeah. I'm sponsored by them. You don't have to buy it. But um, Zeus Juice do a Nixalt range. The NS10 and the NS20. So um, if you do like the uh, Zeus Juice flavors but want them in Nixalt, either in 10 or 20 milligram, head on over to their website and see if it's something that you want to buy. If you're there and do want to purchase something, use code DEVIL10, D-E-V-I-L-1-0 for 10% off your order. I get like 30 million quid per bottle sold. Um, which is really cool. Andrew Coard, Dave P90, welcome in. Yeah, it, um, Mr. Doyle, if you did have a thick accent, it would be difficult. Does the 10 rip your throat less? Yes, Matt. Um, I I struggle to get on with 20 milligram Nick salts. I really struggle to get on with uh, 20 milligram, and they sent me through the 10 milligram. And it's more or less like vaping. You're right, lethal. It's more or less, um, more or less like like vaping a three milligram, but you're getting a a nice little uh, vibe going on it. Sorry about that, Andrew. Um, not my fault. Blame you. Hashtag blame YouTube. Welcome back, Onion. Um, sorry, I don't know what YouTube's doing at the moment. Sometimes. Things come out like five minutes before. Sometimes they come out 10 minutes after. Um, really, really don't know. Really don't know. Some lovely fucking people in there. Anyone new? Let me know what you're vaping on. Um, last time you had a shag on what you had for dinner, please. Yes. Mr. Doyle, that is why. I was going to call you Sirian. Even though it's not Sirian. But Kieran. Kieran. You caught me out. You caught me out. That's what I was going, Mr. Doyle. <sighs> Mr. Fluffy Menthol Whiskers. I use 20 mi uh, milligram Nixalts. 10 isn't enough. I struggle for around a 15 or 16 in the brand I use. Um, what you could do is buy 10 and 20 milligram, mix them together, and that would bring it out... Would that bring it to a 15, wouldn't it? In equal parts. I'm not quite sure. Last time I had a shake, six months ago, having pigs in blankets for din -dins. Nice one. No K in Irish. <sighs> New here. Love you, Vaping Biker. You're right, Tetley. Uh, vaping Biker is back. We did discuss it last week. Um, it's nice to see him back. Um, I did watch part of his. Jelly Baby Beauty, I had sex 100 years ago. We met like uh, nearly a year ago. Dave P, I'm on the Zeus sub tank and never really built anything, but a fan of Gig Vape. Is the Zeus X tank a good place to start? No, it is not. If you want a rebuildable, um, go for, it depends if you're into MTL or DTL. Um, oh, blimey. Uh, who are they? Steam Crave. Get something from Steam Crave. Bob Belding, sitting in my big rig, not a bloody lorry. No, you're in a lorry, mate. Lorry. It's all right, True Vapor. Welcome in, mate. Yeah, we could do that, um, Kieran Sirian. <laughs> uh, oh, no, Jelly. Oh, no, the rumours. The rumours. Oh, God, people can, uh, people can fucking do it. People can fucking start rumours. I don't care. I, re I really don't care. Mistress. Delight that he's back. Just needed a break, refreshed, format pressure, expectation from companies and even subscribers. Exactly, Rev. Um, being, being a YouTuber, you are, you've got a certain level of expectancy from the people that, that watch you. <laughs> Stop. Jelly Baby Beauty is moist. Um, 
yeah, you have a, a certain level of expectations from people that um, that watch you. And, you know, when you keep on putting out like the, the high standard reviews, people are going to expect that and you're going to wear yourself out. You've kind of got to not tone yourself down a bit, but not work at your maximum potential. Um, because if I worked at my maximum potential, I'd be doing, you know, four or five reviews. A blo- oh, pardon me. Four or five reviews a bloody day. Um and I, I can't do that, you know. I've got a job to do and stuff like that and a house to fix up and, and do stuff in. You know, I was filling cracks last night. Mm. Um, yeah, I filled in a massive crack in my bedroom last night because uh, my next-door neighbour, that where I've got concrete walls rather than brick walls because this is a concrete construction building, um, there's a crack and the the smell of weed the the people who have moved in next door smoke weed um, not that I've got a problem with that at all they can do what they want but the smell was coming through the wall like um, like a like a glory hole and um, I thought oh the only place it can be coming through is that crack and I filled the crack in and the smell stopped um, you know it's a bit annoying but you know I oh I'll tell you what though I did find some interesting wallpaper this is you know the lows tvp in a pub quiz you're right tvp welcome in mate hope you are doing well i found some crazy wallpaper um hopefully what was her name um her name was uh wally let's look at the wallpaper that i found that butterfly carrying a sausage and this is the top <laughs> I had to strip the wallpaper to fill the crack. And this, it's proper like, I don't know, 60s, 70s wallpaper. <laughs> Absolutely blooming crazy. Uh, yeah, True Vapor, get in contact with Jeanne. He filled the crack in. You're right, VH. Um, yeah, the, the crack was obviously, uh, the, the ceilings here are eight foot. Uh, it's not a bull rush read, it's a fucking sausage. Um, I was just so surprised to see that. I don't believe her, her name was Lola. She was the showgirl. Yes. LSD. I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, how many kids have been murdered in this bedroom? It was it was really, really weird. I'm out of water. Where's your proof? Um... Because I've seen the wallpaper with my eyes and you're just looking at a screen, uh, on a screen at another screen. So the picture might be slightly distorted, Smooth. Oh God, cracks and glory holes. Which way is this going? Bob, building. This this show goes whatever way it goes. Um, sometimes it starts in the gutter. You know, it's, it's sometimes good to start in the gutter and, and just carry on and see where it goes. What's racist? Got a splinter on a glory hole once. Out of water, drink whiskey. Hi, Webley. I'm good. Just a little bit. He's sorting out the charity live stream for next month. Yeah, true vapor. Ah, oh, my proof is racist. I, I apologize, um, Smooth, for your offense. Um, maybe, yeah, Leaf will get out of top chat. Um, that would be a good idea, Irish. What, what I might do is one of them going, I love sausage, and then the other one going, I love bull rush. That could be a good idea, and then everyone's happy. Um, got to skip playing some Daisy on Xbox at 8pm. Nice one, Voodoo. Cock. I'm not offended. Water, never. Fish fucking water, yeah. Fish do fucking water. What, you filled your crap with some TVP love juice? <laughs> did you load the whole... Do you know what I actually did? I actually, um, when I got to the end, I actually had to thumb in the crack, right? Push it all in. You right, Jackie Chan? This bull rush tastes... <laughs> or you could go, this isn't a sausage. It's a bull rush. Dean, are you busy at 11pm or 12? Yes, I will be in bed, mate. Um, I've got work. Pornhub, that would be very, very good. Um, studio's looking on point. Thank you, TVP. Do you like my 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 Grebo T-shirt? It's a sleep newt newt sleep sleep newt newt T-shirt. 
yeah, I found out that um, thumbing in the crack um, feels it really, really good um, because what I was using before, you know, wasn't filling the crack efficiently enough. So I found, <laughs> I found a more efficient way to fill the crack, which is the best thing to do. Now in five minutes, if you want to, you don't have to, in five minutes, um, little bro um, has got a birthday show on with loads of guests. I'll be one of them. Um, I'm not sure who else would be on it. Smooth Smoothington, um, go over to QWERTY. Um, yes. Uh, go over to QWERTY and have a look. Uh, but in five minutes, um, fucking repeat myself here. Go over to his channel if you want to watch it. Great, I'm now offended that they're offended. And now they're going to get offended that I'm offended at them being offended. Exactly, VH Reviews. Offense, um, it could have fit. <laughs> the, the crack wasn't big enough to fist. Um, morning, Gareth Shekbraker. <sighs> Yes, uh, TVP. We'll have to do that when I'm not busy, mate. Um, definitely. I was busy this weekend. Um, I was very busy indeed. Um, a guess on... Fuck me. Little Bro has got a um, a birthday show. Sorry. Um, I'm losing my words. I'm trying to read and do shit at the same time. The people demand it. We'll see how it goes. 8 p.m. Busy filling cracks. You know you know about that. You know about it. If you don't have to thumb it in, it's been battered. Exactly. Exactly. You right, Claudia? Nice to see you here, Claudia. How are you doing? Dee -dee 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 -dee. Uh, nice one, Jezza. Um, feel free to pop in a Lil Bros show if you want. Fucking hell, I'm getting a bit tired. Greatest duo since fucking Burton Ernie. We are more or less Burton Ernie, mate. We are more or less Burton Ernie. But what I'm going to do as well, hopefully every week, I'm going to do a um, a QWERTY or you know a t-shirt picture and stuff like that. And uh, and fuck me, I'm losing my train of thought. I'm really sorry. Um, I'd post up a picture on Instagram and stuff like that just to show my t-shirts and stuff because I love my little quirky t-shirts. <sighs> Chuckle Brothers, one of them's fucking dead. Now, for the last three minutes of the show, um, I'm, I'm going to sit here and beg for money. Two loads of devil vapor in a week. <laughs> Only Jelly got that lucky. Um, yeah, I'm not really going to beg for money. Um, I've missed it all again. Damn you. Sorry. Sorry, Shrek. I'm really losing my train of thought. I, I massively apologize to everyone out here. <laughs> fucking... My mind is just going 50,000 miles an hour. My brother looks like a young Barry Jackal. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. So does anyone want to say anything or ask anything for the last two minutes of the show just to fill in the last little cracky gap? I'm not going yet, Lady P. Fucking yeah. hell. Um, yeah, sort your shit out. <laughs> you know, like my mind has been racing at work today. Um, so I am kind of losing things. You're at right, Biscuit. You should be here every week, Biscuit. I like eggs. I am. My bro likes eggs. You know, post something in. You want to shout out and let everyone know. Yeah. Who's going London Expo? Yes, London Expo this weekend. I'm not going. Um, I've got a few bits to do, so I'm not going. What do I do for a living? Um, that is not for me to tell people. It's part of my private life uh, diddles, which I like to keep away from uh, YouTube. But I am on the police. Not really a copper. Yeah, I haven't seen Biscuit in a while. Nice to see you pop in. <sighs> Nice one, Smooth. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, no offense intended or anything like that, but there, you know, there's stuff I, I keep away from um, YouTube because you know what people can be like and stuff like that, and you know, London too fucking expensive. Yes, it is. Um, it's also expensive for me to get anywhere from where I am. Um, 
you know, if I want to go to Birmingham or stuff like that, I've got to get a train or a bus or something like that. And um, the the bus makes me sick and the train is expensive. Um, so it does take a lot of planning in, in advance to, to go to an expo and stuff like that. But I am looking at going to Vape Jam hopefully later in the week. Yeah, uh, we are we are entitled to a private life. Um, we are indeed. But what we're going to do now is fucking eight o'clock. Blimey. Um, it's eight o'clock. Everyone, if you want to, head on over to Little Bro, um, over to his channel. He's got a birthday show. I may be on there in um, a few minutes or so. I'm going to grab a drink, go for a shit, have a wank, um, have a wank, have a motherfucking wank. And um, you know what? I'll probably see you next week, but I, I really apologise for how I am tonight. My um, my mind is going a million miles an hour in all different places. Um, but I'd like to thank every single one of you for popping in tonight. Please head on over to Little Bro's show if you do so wish. Um, have a good evening. Have a good week. Stay safe in the storm this weekend because storm fucking Dino's coming or whoever it is. And, you know, I will see you all next week. Same time, same place, same motherfucking me. Um, thank you very much to everyone who's been in here. Thank you, John, for your 19 knock. Lovely, mate. I do appreciate all the uh, super chats that do come in because it does help with the day-to-day -day running of the channel. Um, big love, everyone. Thank you very much, and I will see you on the next week. Goodbye.